Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, this is the first part of the aeroplane series. In this video, I will tell about how to choose the electronics, how to configure them and how to connect the, receive, the electronics to the transmitter and the receiver. Now, let's start. First of all, to give thrust to your aeroplane, you will need a motor. This is a 1400 kV brushless motor. It is called brushless motor because its outer casing also revolves as it moves. Also, it has three wires which connects to the receiver. Now, to control the speed and the direction of this motor, you will need a ESC. The ESC stands for electronic speed controller in which you can see the three wires are coming in this and same in the three wires are coming from the motor. These three wires are attached in any way. The ESC also has a power port that connects to the battery and this, this wire connects to the receiver. This wire is also known as BEC. Now, the motor itself cannot give thrust to the plane, so you will need a propeller. This is a 1045 propeller, means it's 10 inch propeller. It fits in the motor like this and then screw it up. This motor will give you a maximum thrust of 800 grams which is maxim which is a good thrust. Now to power these all you will need a battery. Yes, this is a 1000 mAh 11.1 volt 3S battery. It is of 40C. These two wires which are coming from the battery connects to the two wires coming from the ESC. This battery is called 3S as it is consist of T cells. Now for the movement of control surfaces of the airplane like up, down, left and right, you will need a servo motor. What the servo does, it rotates the plane in directions like up, down, left and right as I already said. It also has the same type of fin as the ESC has. You can see. Now, to control these all electronics, we will need a transmitter. The transmitter will gradually come like this in the box. Now, I will open it and tell you what will come out of this. First of all you will, you will have a plastic cover and yes it is your transmitter. You can see it is a FlySky FSI6 transmitter. I6 stands for 6 channel. Yes it is a 6 channel transmitter. These channel this this channel is channel 1, this channel is channel number 2, this is a throttle stick which is speed 6 channel number 3 and this is a rudder channel 4. You will also have a LCD screen to function it up and set up its another functions. It had some auxiliary switches like this. These are two dials. And this is a three position switch. Three are two position switch and th one is three position switch. Now when you will power it off, you will see a screen. It will show the transmitter battery and another functions. We will discuss about it later. Now the another thing you will have in the, by this transmitter is the CD. This is a user manual for this transmitter which can you place in a computer and see how how to how to configure it and how to use it. Nextly, you will have the main component, the receiver. You can read this is the FSIAX receiver. 
what the transmitter transmits the signal this re this receiver receives the signals in the same way but you have to bind it before you can use it so to bind this you will need a blind bind plug you will get this along with the transmitter what you have to do is to place this in the battery port and then connect the ESC to it like this now I will show you some of the working of these electronics so So firstly we will have our motor. We will connect the three wires of the ESC to the motor as I already tell you. You can connect it in any way you want. We have done the connectance. Now as I previously told you this is a BEC wire. You should remember it that the white wire should go to the left side of the receiver. And as it I told the throttle stick is the three channel the third channel so you have to place the wire in the third channel. It is given here one, two, three, four, five, and six channels. So you will connect it in the three third channel like this. Now secondly, you will connect the servo. Mainly the servo connects in the first, second and fourth channel but I am connecting it to the first channel. Same way connect the servo wire to the receiver. And then you have to remember it for the precaution that first you will turn on the transmitter and then you will connect the battery. So we will start like this. Let I zoom it. First turn your transmitter on, then connect your ESC to the battery. This is a tree connector or Dean's connector. The same position, the same pattern that is followed by the ESC is, is received by the same pattern in the battery. So connect it like this. The three sounds that you heard is I told you that the battery is 3S. So it will the motor will sound three three times. Now you can see as I turn up the throttle stick up the motor revolves. This is a very good and very efficient motor which I have told you that it will give a maximum thrust of 800 gram which is very good. Now we will talk about the servo. The proportion in which I am moving the hand on the in the stick in with that only proportion the servo is working. So guys to explain you so prominent more prominently and good correctly I have made the stabilizers. In the previous lectures I talk about the servos and the control surfaces. You can see the same two wires are coming from these servos. This base is known as the horizontal stabilizer and this vertical and this is known as the vertical stabilizer. And the control surfaces they have, this is known as the elevator and this is known as the rudder. Let me show you some of the mixes. As the same, connect the wire to the receiver. I am connecting the rudder channel in the first and the elevator channel in the second. The elevator channel is the universal channel in the channel 2 but you can place the rudder in channel 4 or channel 1. So now you can see as I am moving the elevator stick down the elevator goes up and as I am moving the rudder stick left and right it moves like this. Mm -hmm. 
when the rudder goes left your plane will rotate like this and when the rudder goes right your plane will move like this and when the elevator stick goes up your plane will go up due to the camber and when you will push the elevator stick down your plane will go down so it was so so meanwhile i forgot to tell you one thing more that along you will get this bit and this mount also known as a motor mount first you have to place the motor in this mount and you will get four screws also then screw it up and then place the mount in any other plastic cover that i have used you can see and also along with the servos you will have this servo linkage let me show you you will get three types of linkage i am using this one what you have to do is the place this servo linkage on your servo and press it up now you will see in in the proportion which i move the throat the stick in that only proportion the servo goes down and up when i move the stick horizontally then only it work because i have connected the servo to the first channel it will not work when i move this on the second channel so now talk about the transmitter it is a very good transmitter and cheap transmitter there is a link in the description box below if you want to buy this when you turn on the transmitter you will have a int v1 this show the battery of the battery of the oh, external battery the tx you will see is the battery of the transmitter now if you want to configure or set up any channel or function then long press the button ok it has ok cancel up and down button so long press the ok button now you will have setup system setup and function setup so let's go to the function setup i will talk about the main main functions you will you have to do what the reverse the reverse function in this function you can reverse any function channel by clicking up and down on it and if you want to save any function then long press cancel and the second one is the display you can see when i move this here these move very good and this is very good and cheap transmitter so this was the first part of our airplane series if you like this video then please share and subscribe